Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? 54 in New York City. G Money, how you doing? I'm doing good, Chris. How are you doing? Not too good. Not too good, G Money. Uh, first off, thanks for running with us on the fast break. Chill Rob here running it along with G, -G, -G, -G Money. So, G Money, we got to talk about this new show on the fan. Um, obviously I don't live there anymore, but I still pay attention. Mike Francesa retiring, uh, back in December, they've debuted a new team. Uh, Mag basically it's who, who, and who, uh, not exactly. You kind of know some of them. Uh, yeah, Chris Carlin, who the first time I told someone that they're like, wait a minute, isn't he, uh, isn't he in jail on a Ponzi scheme? Like, well, no, he bonded out. <laughs> about I can see the resemblance though. Chris Carlin, Craig Carton. All right. He got a little mixed up. Uh, you got Bart Scott, who, let's be honest, <laughs> if he doesn't scream, can't wait, into a mic, no one would even know who he is anymore in New York City. Oh, he played for the New York Jets, didn't he? Ah, no one really cares. And then you got <laughs> Maggie Gray from, uh, I guess, Sports Illustrated. I mean, no one knows who she is, but she, she seems okay to me so far. Obviously, no one is replacing Mike Francesa. It's a vacuum. There's no way. But I don't know. I, I've listened the first couple of days. Well, I tuned it off after the first 10 minutes. So uh, you lasted uh, longer than I did. <laughs> well, I, I mean, but, everything from the theme, even the theme song is, is horrible, I feel like. CMB, man, we all we got. The Afternoon Drive. Sports Radio 1019 FM. And Sports Radio 66 FM. WFAN. It is very bland, very vanilla. Just uh, nothing, nothing stood out. They might come up with something a little later. I mean, uh, maybe they haven't come up with anything yet. But uh, listen to the first ten minutes. I mean, obviously, uh, the first five minutes were dedicated to Mike Francesa saying how uh, he, uh, he 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 helped them along the way or whatever, blah blah blah. But then, then they, I mean, look, maybe the chemistry was isn't isn't there quite yet. Uh, but do you think that uh, really the chemistry is going to be there at all? I mean, with these uh, these two people. I mean, first of all, in the first show, Maggie well, didn't even show up. Well, that's right? that. I, I I didn't like that either. I mean, you only that's probably when their ratings are probably going to be the highest. That first show, maybe the first couple shows, because people are curious, they want to see what you're all about, and then you, you you don't even have your A team there. Maggie Gray missing for the first show. I don't remember why. I don't know if they said it. Bart Scott missing the second show. Apparently, he had some charity thing to go to. Okay, well, maybe you should just time it better. Um, I guess they all got together on the third show, which I listened to, which, you know, I, I can't exactly remember. I think we're, they were breaking down, like, for uh, the Mets payroll or something. It was like, <laughs> just, wow. I, no, it was just, I was like, blah, it was just regular. No, I'm, I, maybe we have to wait for a big story to drop. And maybe for one of them to go on a huge epic rant for people to start paying uh, any attention. Well, if anybody's going to go on an epic rant, it'll be Chris Carlin, right? I mean, uh, he he seems like the type of guy that would talk and talk and talk, and uh, you you you. I mean, he just has to talk very loudly, and then maybe you'll get people to listen. I don't see Bart Scott uh, arguing with a lot of people. I don't see Maggie arguing with a lot of people. So it all depends on Chris Carlin. He he is obviously, I, I would say he's the the uh the number one guy on that team right wouldn't you say uh, i don't know i might put Ma i might have to put maggie gray up there just because she's different and refreshing i mean chris carlin i was gonna been there done that he's been there he left he came i mean i know he's come back but i, I even when he was there the first time i didn't I never felt like oh I, I gotta listen to this guy i mean you know I, there's a i like kevin burkhart more i would have put joe and evan uh, in a spot instead, at least, you know, they're a known quantity and they get, uh, I like their chemistry. Uh, you well, know, they're I not afraid. Joe and Carl. I don't put Joe and Evan. I mean, I like Joe and Evan, but look, you needed some, some new blood. If you need some new blood, obviously uh, this is the best they got to work with. So uh, maybe I should have given him uh, more than 10 minutes. Maybe uh, I'll like them more down the line. Maybe I'll give him another chance. I, I, I think I was a little too hasty in, uh, in turn and tuning it off. Maybe I'll give them another chance, and uh, hopefully uh, they'll they'll be a lot better, uh, you know, down the line. Maybe maybe they just need some time to, to gel. Just, well, just I, like just like a championship team, right? A championship team, you need some time to gel. 
maybe uh, this is what they need. Maybe uh, they need a, lot of, a few few games under their belt. It was just what it is. It's just one of uh, one in a one of a million. I mean, you, you see, probably the same type of talk show you'll see anywhere else. Uh, you know, obviously, Frances had the benefit of being first with Mad Dog, you know, 30 plus years ago. So they were pretty much the only ones doing it. And that's why the uh, fans gravitated to him and stuck with him. Now that the uh, now that this landscape is so saturated with the, uh, you know, sports talk radio hosts uh, with ESPN, people, maybe they listen to Michael Kay now. Uh, th there's just so many of them that, uh, you know, I don't know what they can do to, to try to stand out, except uh, rely on the big WFAN name. Other than that, I don't know what's going to make them stand out. Like I said, we might have to see until some huge story drops to see how they handle it and to see how they handle uh, interviews. Uh, you know, do they get testy with, uh, you know, some of these people uh, that come on their show or uh, do they, uh, you know, just treat them with kid gloves? I mean, why, why do they need three hosts? I mean, isn't two enough? I, I think the standard would be two hosts. I mean, three seems like uh, overkill. Three definitely seems much to me. I don't know of any... Uh, three-person teams that are very successful. I mean, obviously, you got uh, a lot of solos, uh, people who are doing great, uh, Francesca at I mean, the time, uh, Colin Cowherd, uh, Mad Dog's doing fine, Mike and Mike were together as a pair. That was fine. I don't know of any, uh, you know, trio that's that's killing it in the game right now. But I, I don't know. I don't understand. Why, this is not the talk. I mean, you don't have a bunch <laughs> of people talking about topics. I mean, uh, why do they need three people? I mean, it, I, I, usually two people. You know, bouncing ideas off each other is good enough. I mean, a third person would just probably ruin it. I don't know how long this is going to last either. I mean, I I honestly think Bart Scott is going to get bored, especially when football season's over. I don't see him lasting over a year. I think Bart Scott's going to leave in a year, and they're going to have to shake things up. I don't know what they're going to do, but I, I just don't I just don't see that. Obviously, it's been like a week, and we, we the jury is still out. But I, I just don't see what changes. I see Bart Scott gone within a year. I see this this lineup. This lineup won't be what it is maybe, you know, once we're once we're talking in December 2018. Maybe you just get Chris Collin on by by himself. How about that? <laughs> oh God, let's let's not do that either. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think New York City is ready for that. I did read that. They that, wanted, that might be better than what we have. I did read they wanted uh, Max Kellerman, maybe uh, Kim Jones, maybe, uh, and they both said no. Max Kellerman, I mean, uh, I guess Max might be uh, maybe Chris and Max. Why? Why can't we they do with uh, with Chris and Max? I think that'll be interesting. That would be interesting, but uh, it looks like. But I did read, uh, you know, apparently they said uh, uh, Max Kellerman wasn't interested and Kim Jones wasn't interested. So basically, they said they they weren't paying them enough money. <laughs> uh, that and uh, you know, I guess you know this is the this, and then we're we're left with the B team. Well, I guess if you don't pay him enough money, he talks. I mean, if you don't pay the, the big uh, guns enough, I mean, they're not going to show up. So, uh, and WFB has enough money to throw at them, right? I mean, it's not like, uh, you know, they don't have it. Well, I think definitely so, especially, you know, I, if I had a, if I had a bet on it, I, I think Francesa, I know with him retiring and everything, I think WFAM probably saves money uh, with all three. Rather than just paying Francesa, I think the, the combined salaries of Bart Scott, Maggie Gray, and Chris Carlin are, if I had to guess, I think it's probably a little less than Mike Francesa. Well, the bottom line is look, the jury's still out on this. Uh, so far, it doesn't look good, but uh, I'll give them another uh, month uh, to evaluate uh, and uh, evaluate the performance. Saw some clips of a uh, Chris Russo, and apparently he had uh, people calling into his show saying they were Mike Francesa refugees, and they were getting off the raft <laughs> onto Chris Russo's island. Well, that that doesn't surprise me. I mean, uh, look, Mike and Chris uh, made WFAN what they are today. So, I mean, look, they've obviously accumulated a lot of fans uh, from the very beginning. Maybe uh, there's going to be more fans of Chris Collin, Bart Scott, and Maggie uh, in the future. So uh, if they can accumulate like half uh, as many fans as Mike has, maybe they'll be successful. I wouldn't count on it. So let's, uh, let's give me a prediction. A year from now, are, are these three still there, or is it going to be a change by uh, this time next year? I don't think all three are going to be there. I think two out of three is, is going to be there. I don't know who's going to be the two, but I do believe uh, the three-person uh, format is not going to work out. I do agree with that. It won't be the same team. I wouldn't be surprised if Joe and Evan get bumped up. Um, definitely all three won't be there. I think you can put, I mean, I would bet I would bet real money on that. There's no way. Uh, let's talk about the ratings. 
Obviously, it's going to go down. No one expects them to hold the ratings that Mike Francesa was bringing in. Uh, how much do the ratings fall year to year? Uh, let's say, you know, December of last year when Francesa was there to December of next year. How far do you expect the ratings to fall? Give me a percentage. Uh, I would say between 40 and 50 percent. 40 to 50 percent ratings drop? That would be a disaster. That's what I'm saying. They have to change it up. They, they're going to, well, it depends uh, who they get in. Uh, I don't think they, uh, all three are going to last a year. So maybe they change it up uh, mid, middle of the year, uh, maybe half a year later. They change it up and then the ratings uh, maybe jump up a little bit. But if they keep the same team that they have now, I believe it's going to be a 40% drop. Yeah, I'm with you there. I think it's going to be a, at least a 30% drop, 30 to 40% drop in audience. I just don't think anyone wants to. Does anyone really care what they like? I, like you, like you said, jury's still out. We're gonna have to wait for a big story to drop, like a John Carlo Stanton type trade. Uh, there's just nothing. There's just nothing to, going on right now. The Jets and Giants are out of it. The Knicks are doing well, but nothing big's well, happening. They may or may not make the playoffs. The Nets aren't doing anything. You know, these guys aren't gonna break down Rangers hockey. Not that you know most of New York cares about Rangers or Islanders hockey right now. Yankees are months away from spring trainings. The Mets aren't doing anything. They're really, uh, to be to be fair to them, there's just really nothing going on right now that people would even want to hear from them. Well, it's tough to be a New York uh, sports uh, radio host right now. So, I mean, <laughs> it, it, yeah, like you said, I mean, there's not, not nothing really to talk about. Uh, uh, so you just got to just, I guess you got to wing it and then come up with your own topics then. They do. I mean, I think I heard Maggie Gray and uh, Chris Carlin basically breaking down Kristaps Porzingis, his injury history, whether the Knicks should sign him when he's a free agent. I'm just like, that's years away. <laughs> I no. mean, I, I, I'd be more concerned if we had Anthony Davis and his injury history. I, there's just, and, and I think I, yeah. I, I usually get the clips from the uh, watch your mic again. I usually get the clips from uh, this YouTube channel called Sports Radio. And uh, I'll be honest, after the first four or five days, they've actually stopped posting the Maggie Gray, Chris Carlin, <laughs> and Bart yeah. Scott videos. And they started posting more Chris Russo and Joe Beningo uh, uh, and uh, Evan Roberts videos. So I'm not sure how much I'll get to listen to them taped. I might have to ch check them out live on the stream or something. Well, these three definitely have to be more creative if they want to uh, bring in a new audience. So, I mean, they got to be creative. I mean, obviously, there's not a lot to talk about. Well, it doesn't really feel like I'm listening to New Yorkers, uh, you know, when I'm listening to the other show. Well, like I said, you got to be more creative than than, uh, than most if you want to uh, uh, bring in a new audience. But this is the time. I mean, if you lose your audience now, you're never going to bring them back in. Fans in big trouble. They're going to have to, uh, you know, beg Mike Francesa to come out of retirement, uh, you know, in about six months, I think. Do you think Michael K overtakes them in the ratings? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, Michael. Uh, I mean, Michael K. Uh, I think a lot of people still do listen. He could to never. K. He could never beat Francesa. Well, maybe some of Francesa's fans will uh, go over to ESPN Radio. That'd be that'd be a sad day. I kind of like the. Uh, I would like the New York born and bred station to stay on top, but like you said, I don't. I think. I think. Uh, I think over the next year, uh, Michael K is going to put some heat and uh, force the fan to make some changes. I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but Sports Talk Radio uh, on WFAN is in trouble. <laughs> I would agree. Things that they do have the Yankee ra Yankees programming, so that'll help in the ratings. So thankfully, they got that going for them. But uh, yeah, like you said, long term, when it comes to their hosts, I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, I mean, I could see these guys. I don't want to be mean, but I could see these guys doing maybe like. Uh, like a Saturday, Saturday, Sunday show or something, but Monday through Friday afternoon drive. It's, it's a little too much. Why don't they bring back uh, Russ Salzburg? Russ Salzburg, put him in the schmoozer or, uh, you know, it's too bad. Even the, uh, schmoozer, even the schmoozer were a pretty good team. I don't know. They broke them up, but they were a pretty good, good uh, sports team. I got to tell you. I think boom, you know, if, you know, if let, let's say Carton gets off, right. Let's say he really didn't do anything. Uh, him and Boomer, I think they could be. I think they could be a solid two to six, seven p.m. team. No, why, why, why don't they uh, team uh, Craig Carton with uh, Chris Carlin? Uh, that that would be uh, interesting. 
I mean, that 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 would be. Uh, oh my magic. god! I don't know if I have to. I don't know. If, do I have to turn that off <laughs> half an hour in every day? Come on, give Boomer his own show. He deserves it. And uh, stick uh, Chris Collin and Craig Carton together. <laughs> now, now, what, 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 why don't we just put uh, Bart Scott with him <laughs> while we're at it? <laughs> Nobody cares about Bart Scott, but they, I think two, uh, viewers will tune in. To, I mean, uh, listeners will tune in to, to see uh, uh, Craig Carton back. Now, when 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 they start screaming at each other, will Chris Carlin bring up the Ponzi scheme, or is that, uh, or is that, or is that you don't go there? They might get uh, pretty physical in the studio. Uh, if that happens. <laughs> I can actually see that. All right, let's, all right. Listen, anything else you want to add before we take off? No, I'm good. I wish everybody uh, another happy holidays and uh, hopefully uh, a good uh, new year. All right. Uh, hopefully, you wish that on the fan. They'll need it. All right. That is a, that does it for us on the fast break. We'll see you next time. Peace. We're out of here. <laughs>